and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty, and this is my Himmy Lifestyle. Today I'm going to show you how I make a really easy vanilla ice cream. It's super good. It's a very simple recipe. You only need a few things. Unlike the frozen yogurt recipes that I have shown you in the past, you're going to have to do a little bit of cooking in this. It's not really cooking so much as it is warming up some stuff. And also with this recipe, it's going to be a two-parter. So uh, on one day, you're going to combine your ingredients and warm everything up so that they have a chance to simmer and kind of have the flavors meld. And you're going to want that to set up overnight in your refrigerator so that it has time to chill. And then the next day, you're going to actually um, combine the, uh, the mix into your ice cream maker. So keep that in mind. This is not something that you can th you know, throw on the stove and then put right into your ice cream maker. That is not gonna work unless you have the uh, super high dollar professional version, which will freeze anything, okay? You could probably pour boiling hot soup into that thing and it'll freeze it. Uh, if you have the garden variety home Cuisinart machine like I do, it's not going to happen. So you will have to build that into your planning so that you know your mix has had time to chill overnight. This is going to be what we call a Philadelphia style ice cream and what that means is there are no eggs in this ice cream. You have two basic types of ice cream. One is a French style and one is a Philadelphia style. The difference between French and Philadelphia style ice creams is that the French style ice cream is going to have egg yolks and you're going to cook the egg yolks with the hot cream to make a custard. So essentially you're making an egg custard, you're cooking that on your stove, when it has properly cooked, you're then going to refrigerate that overnight. The Philadelphia style ice cream has no eggs, uh, but you're still gonna have to do um, a little cooking. Most, more it's a warming up process than it is a cooking process, and, um, but you're not gonna add any eggs to it. So uh, let's uh, look at what we need for today's recipe. And in uh, this part of it, we're going to just uh, cook, cook <laughs> the, um, the dairy part of this and uh, then I'll let it set up overnight and then I'll come back and meet with you tomorrow and we will put it into the ice cream maker and see what kind of vanilla ice cream we can make. Honestly, all we're gonna do is we're going to take all of these ingredients and we're going to put them in a heavy saucepan and we're going to bring them up to a simmer and then we're going to uh, just put it in a container and let it sit uh, in the fridge overnight. Uh, so, okay, I'm just going to um, put everything into the saucepan and let you check that out and you can see how it looks. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a whole thing. Uh, this is a pint, I guess, of heavy whipping cream. You can make low fat ice cream, okay? You can try to cut corners. Uh, it's not gonna be good and also, if you don't put any fat into your ice cream, it's going to freeze hard as a brick. You're not gonna be able to hardly get it out of the container. And um, when you scoop it, when it is finally soft enough that you can scoop it, it's gonna be like having ice. So, if you were calorie conscious, ice cream is not what you want. You wanna think about making like a sorbet, which is fruit, or like a granita, which is uh, ice. Today's recipe is for ice cream. Okay, whole can of sweetened condensed milk. And I know a lot of people like have issues with sweetened condensed milk. I'm not. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know what the the issue with sweetened condensed milk is. I'm going to do eight ounces of the almond milk, just because I'm out of regular milk. This is the vanilla bean paste that I use, and um, so this is how it looks and you can see, maybe you can see it, like there's little speckles. Those are the vanilla beans. So this is a great alternative to whole beans 
and um, I put in like a whole tablespoon of it because it's our main flavoring in this um, ice cream. So, you know, we want to go a little heavy handed on it. Everything's in the saucepan and I've got it on a medium low heat. I'm going to just bring it up to a simmer and I'm going to be whisking it to get everything well combined. And um, when we get to where the mixture coats the back of a spoon, we'll know it's done. And I'll show you what that looks like. I have a whisk that I'm using and I'm just whisking everything together so that it's well combined. You have a lot of different levels of viscosity and the liquids. And so we want to make sure that everybody is like really well, well combined and uh, that all those flavors are going to commingle. So good constant whisking um, is, is a must and it will also keep anything from sticking. You have to be careful with dairy when you um, have it overheat because it is a tendency for it to stick and we certainly don't want it to stick. We don't want any burned flavor in this. Uh, I'm just whisking, it's not anything exciting. I'll, um, I'll bring it in when it's when it starts getting good. All right, the mixture is finally coming up to a simmer. I can smell it. It smells really good. Um, I want you to see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see how it's kind of bubbling and foaming on top. If you look, you can see that steam coming off. So that means this is at a really good simmering point. And I'm just stirring it to make sure that nothing sticks. We don't want anything to burn in this mixture. So I'm just gonna keep it moving and we just take it off the heat for a second. So now we wanna see if it's going to coat the back of a spoon. So I'm gonna put the wooden spoon in. Okay, so see how when I run my finger through it, it leaves a mark on the spoon. That means that it's ready. Yeah, the coating the back of the spoon out Honestly, if I had used uh, all full dairy products, it would be a lot more noticeable. Um, but because I put in that almond milk, it's not as um, it's not as thick as it would normally be. But that's going to be fine when we freeze it tomorrow. So uh, okay, I'm going to put it into a container and we'll pop it in the fridge. And you can let that cool just a little bit before it goes into the refrigerator. And um, what we're gonna do is cover it. I'm just going to put the lid on and then uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll come back and uh, it'll be cold. It will have had a chance to sit up all night in the refrigerator and we'll be ready to churn the vanilla ice cream. So don't go anywhere. We're back, it's day two and here's our mixture and um, I keep it in this uh, lock and lock container. I love these. I got them on QVC. David sells them and they're so good. They, uh, like it says, they lock down really well. And this particular one I like has a handle. Um, what's also great about this bowl is that you can uh, run the mixer in it. And what we're going to do is um, use the hand mixer and just sort of reincorporate everything. And we're going to add about a quarter cup of um, light corn syrup. It keeps it from becoming like so frozen that you can't get your spoon through it. So uh, anyway, what we're gonna do is just um, take our hand mixer, just mix this up a little bit, freshen it some, and then we'll put it into our um, ice cream maker. And with these lock and lock bowls, you can mix right in the bowl, which I really like that. Just add that. And this is just a, I don't know, just remix, refreshing. There's no skin on the top um, when you make uh, this, I guess because it's not a custard, it doesn't form a skin like a custard would, so you don't have to uh, put anything right down on the surface of the mixture, it's fine. I'm just extra picky and like to really mix it, so that's what I do. If you don't have a hand mixer, you could just use a whisk, that would be fine. Uh, but I, I love my KitchenAid products and um, 
I particularly enjoy the hand mixer. And for this kind of project, it's not worth getting out the stand mixer and going through all of that rigmarole. We don't need that. Now I'm just going to put it into the core and we're gonna run the maker, the ice cream maker. Uh, I'm not gonna go over all of that because um, in my uh, strawberry frozen yogurt video, I get into more specifics on the ice cream maker. So I'm going to link over to that. That'll be popping up about now. And uh, you can watch that if you wanna see how the machine itself works. Um, really, it's just, you freeze the core, you pour your mixture in, you turn it on. That's it. It's so easy and I I just I can't recommend an ice cream maker enough. They're so cool. Okay, so I'm going to change the angle a little bit so you can see what I'm doing and um, we'll get it going. You get beautiful flux of vanilla using that vanilla bean paste. So uh, I would not stress over um, not having the full-on vanilla bean. I mean, that is nicer, but just get the paste. It's cheaper, it's easier. And uh, okay, everything's in. Put our top on. Here's the only downside to this thing. It's loud as the dickens. So we're going to let it run about 30 minutes and that should give us our ice cream. And um, I'll see you then. It's so exciting. <laughs> So that's how it looks when it's running and I mean you can see it's just absolutely this gorgeous silky soft serve it's it's really good I've, I've already tried it hmm it's very good okay I'm going to get it out of here and into the ice cream keeper but I wanted you to see it in fact let me take the top off so you can really just take a gander that's how beautiful that is isn't that wonderful? Okay, let's um, let's get it scooped into its home for the night. It's always so exciting to pull that paddle out of the frozen core because, oh, look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. This is like, if you want to make fun summer memories, I mean, making ice cream at home is... It's a great way to go. Your kids or your grandkids will absolutely love this. I promise you, they will not forget making that summer ice cream. It's so good. Yeah. And see how that just comes right out. It's almost like, it's like your Instant Pot and how the inner pot comes out. The wooden spoon is your best friend for getting the ice cream that's kind of frozen to the core out because it won't scratch and it's strong enough that you can get in there and really loosen up what's left. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, let me give you one, one other tip. Don't put hot water right into this. It's still quite cold. If you put hot water right into it now, you run the risk of um, splitting it because this basically has a fluid inside and you don't want to crack your core. So uh, what I do is put it down into the sink and I'll just run cold water and let it soak and that will get the ice cream out, let it come up to room temperature and then uh, wash it with uh, warm soapy water. Don't put this in the dishwasher and don't put hot water right on it. You will ruin your core. I'm going to be totally honest with you. This is mostly a soup right now. <laughs> because it's warm. The sun is just beaming in the back here. Um, but it's, it's like a, it's a, it's, it's the softest soft starve you can imagine. But it's super good. And you can see the flex of vanilla. Mm. So when you make the ice cream, 
it's pretty soft when it first comes out of the maker it does need time to set up but I'll tell you nobody cares it's still really good everybody's gonna love it and when you go to dip it out tomorrow it'll be perfect and so when you see the uh, pictures of it in the little Sunday cup and all of that you'll know that was the next day so okay I have to be truthful um, you know there's so much rampant BS going around online and you know I'm just coming to you from my actual kitchen really cooking stuff uh, you can see there's my sink of cl these are clean dishes I did do my dishes yeah I don't have a dishwasher by the way so I have to wash everything by hand which is why I have those dish pan hands but okay uh, I'm getting off topic um, I think my blood sugar is low I'm going to have this I'm going to enjoy it and I will see you in the next video okay bye bye <laughs>